For this tutorial, you will need your selected yarn. I'm using Stylecraft Special DK in the colour Raspberry. You need a crochet hook. I'm going to use a 5mm, but you can experiment with the size of your hook, and obviously, it will depend on your yarn. You will need a darning needle to sew in your end and a pair of scissors to snip off your yarn. Okay, so you want to start off by creating your slip knot, and you can do this whichever way you prefer. Insert your hook and this pattern is going to work in even numbers. So if you want to go ahead and start your chain, so yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through, and you can keep on doing that until you get to your desired length. Now, whatever length um, you do is going to be the width of your project so you might want to lay this down on a bed or on the floor so you can see how wide it's going to be but pause the video work your chain and then meet me back once you've got to your length of your project so I have chained 20 just as a sample piece and what we're going to do now is work our way along uh, back along this chain so we're going to work into the second chain from the hook we don't count the one which is actually on the hook it's not this first one, but we're working into the second one just here. And we're going to do a double crochet. Now I'm working in UK terms, so in the US this is known as a single crochet. So what you want to do is insert your hook into that chain, grab the yarn and pull it through, and you shall have two loops on the hook. Grab the yarn and pull through both of those loops on the hook. We're now going to chain one, so grab the yarn and pull it through. And then we're going to skip the next chain and work into the chain after that. So we're going to do the same stitch. You want to go straight into that chain, grab the yarn and pull it through. So you'll have two loops on the hook and grab the yarn and pull through both loops on the hook. And again, chain one. You're going to skip the next chain and work into the one after that with the same stitch. So insert the hook, grab the yarn, pull it through, and grab the yarn and pull through both loops on the hook. Chain one and repeat the same thing all the way to the end of your chain. So pause the video, meet me back just before you're about to finish off this row and I shall show you what to do to complete this row and start your next one. So as you near the end of your row, you'll notice that you have two chains left from your original chain, which is correct. So you're going to just do your double crochet into the very last chain from that foundation chain. Now at this point, you can change colours if you want to, um, and you can do that in whichever method you prefer. But for now, what we're going to do is grab the yarn and pull it through to chain and then we're going to turn our work and start working back the other way. So what we're going to do along this row is actually work into the chain spaces of the previous round rather than the top of the actual stitches themselves. So what you want to do is insert your hook straight into this chain space, grab the yarn and pull it through and you'll have two loops on the hook and grab the yarn and pull it through both loops on the hook so you've just done your double crochet there single in the US and then you're going to do a chain and then you're going to move over to the next chain space so insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and again grab the yarn pull it through for a chain and then move across into the next chain space and do your double crochet. And that is literally all you do for the linen stitch. And as you build, it creates a really beautiful pattern. So pause the video, work your way to the end of this row and I shall meet you back to show you how to do your next row. So I've just worked my way to the very last chain one space and done my double crochet in there. I've chained one and to finish this round, what you want to do is insert your hook into the top of the very last stitch from the previous row. 
and this just um, creates a nice flat edge. So grab the yarn and pull it through and do a double crochet in there. Then what you want to do is chain one and turn your work. And we're going to work across with the same pattern. So it might be a little bit more difficult to see now as you're working in the chain one space just because the stitches are a little bit tighter. Um, but if you just pull the work, you should be able to see that chain one space. So insert the hook and do a double crochet and chain one and move across into the next space and do a double crochet and chain one. And you're going to repeat that for every round until you get to the desired length. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video here and work a few more rows and I shall show you in a second what it looks like once this starts to build. So now you can see that this stitch is really starting to build nicely and it's an absolutely beautiful pattern. Especially when you change colours, it really gives a, a gorgeous effect. Um, this would look really nice in a chunky yarn as an afghan, a really nice warm blanket for the winter months. But there you go, that is your linen stitch, also known as the moss stitch. If you liked it, make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe to keep up to date with any of my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye!